How's it going, everybody? I am doing it. This is, of course, a Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, get the fuck off this channel. This is Broad City Season 3, Episode 3, Game Over. Now, last episode with co-op, I thought it was going to be, you know, video game co-op, not an actual real-life co-op. But uh, I'm sticking with my, my guess from that episode of we're going to get a really outdated video gamey kind of plot. Whether it be, I think my guess last time was that they were going to play co-op with Bevers. This is game over. Now, uh, it, it could be many, many things, you know, and it could also just be using that as a, like, moment in their life where they are, this feels like a game over. It feels like something way worse than it normal. Is, is gonna happen or does happen but I think it might just be more of a pun and have to do with it being a they are playing a video game or what they are doing throughout the episode feels very much like a video game I gotta guess one and that's my guess I'm gonna stick with the second one I think maybe it'll be something like some element of this episode will feel way more like a, a video game than normal <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, if you want to see the full length, check it out in the description below, uh, or, you know, get on the Patreon if you want to see the full length for $4 a month. She was really good in that number, god damn, like seriously, her actor was on point, and I hope she comes back up, like, she came up in the, the sex shop when we were there, so there's potential for these, you know, characters to come up outside of their workplace. Todd, I think we're done with, I think, I'm not sure what else more they could do with Todd, but they could do a hell of a lot more with her. Todd, really, the like him having the strength to uh, do all this at all like i love that we got character development for like the people of their work rather than really for abby or alana it was more of you know we have seen abby is this competitive before but we were also told that she was like way worse and not even way worse but just it's way worse than what we've even seen because we've never seen her in a competition we've just seen her in moments where she feels like she needs to prove herself and she gets exactly like that and like yeah alana you know we know it was the seemingly like both of them are going to go on an upper trajectory upper trajectory as even alana was saying but uh yeah in the end no just abby goes up and alana goes down and yeah we get to follow up on abby being a trainer now and not like immediately taking that back in this season we're sticking with that and she is respected more at this place now it's unclear if i can't remember what her name is but the main girl trainer that we see along with trey uh was she also suspecting her of steroids or did she truly think that she was just that strong on her own i'm not sure but <laughs> She's fitting in there now, and, uh, you know, it's still in, like, the locker room sort of situation, she's not going to at all, but on these events, she's gonna get so aggressive, but you know what, it, for these people only, it works, and that's a nice message. Meanwhile, Alana would have been, like, she got a promotion, she was doing really good, all she had to do was not tweet out bestiality. <laughs> And it's the it's classic Alana like that that ending conversation with Alana and Abby of the like you know it's not as bad as people are saying or okay okay it's not as bad as if a guy was but it is so like it is the semantic and pedanticness of Alana's entire character so focused on words and like the specific definition of something or, or whatever and yeah she is so that was. The, the, that just the whole plot line with that was a perfect encapsulation and also just knowing how bad it was going to go with her pic like taking a picture of a horse but I had no idea how it could possibly go that bad and yet it did and yet it did and yeah I, I like I guess I am exactly the same age as Alana because man I was taking some fucking psychic ass damage from all the shit that she was mentioning on Evolve's world and just again the phrase it, how did she phrase it like oh that's just early random uh I can't it was the worst phrasing possible. I hated it. I hate it because I know it's true. And I know I used to be that person. It's also hilarious. Like, Alana is that, you know, middle school personality. But it's she's still carried it on here. 
Uh, and she is like, you know, the extreme, uh, how do you even put it? She just has an opinion about everything so strongly, and none of it's good. A lot of it is bo way better than a lot of other people, but it's still so extreme that it's bad. She goes so much harder into it in the other direction that it ends up way worse. I think the co-op, you know, the the um, the Grandmaster, like, the, her speech at the end was such a perfect encapsulation of them being better people than most people and yet also being way worse than most people in other ways um but you know yeah i think like t todd at the end of that fucking musical and what he was wearing and everything was the most like todd is just another side of the coin of alana like they're all everybody in that entire workplace they're all just different le different flavors of bad different flavors of terrible the only one who might not be actually that bad is uh, nicoletta was that her name was that her actual name or is that just what alana calls her i think it's just nicole actually um and yeah uh uh, she's the only one who maybe, but even then, she was a terrible social media, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of that job, but, you know, she was a terrible social media manager. She, she was terrible at it. So, you know, not, not good at that, but, uh, as a person, who knows? But yeah, everybody else at the work seems, <laughs> most of the people, you know, at the work <laughs> that we see, not great people. They're all, <laughs> the musical number, uh, highlight of this episode, absolute highlight, for sure. So to be fair, I gave Todd Shiver what he was wearing at the end of the musical number when that's not real, to be fair. That's just Nicole, actually. So I take it back. You know what? It, it, Nicole is a shitty person. <laughs> They're all bad. They're all terrible. <laughs> oh, and a lot of me are like, oh, white dude number seven, white dude number five, white dude number three. <laughs> I do think this is the first episode where they have successfully made me go, Alana, what in the absolute fuck are you wearing? Like, this outfit is the worst thing she has ever looked. She has never looked... I can't say ugly because she doesn't. She still looks hot because she can wear a damn trash bag and look hot. But it's still, it looks terrible. It, it's not even the, the crayon. The crayon does, or not the crayon, the marker or whatever, does make her look like she has been sliced up. It's terrible. But just all of it, all of it is so clashing. It's so bad. The hairstyle's not even good. It's all garbage. And yet, Somehow, she still she doesn't pull it off, but she can just pull off anything. So, still, she does put the... You know what I mean. Oh, man. God damn it, Alana. <laughs> and, yeah, I do like... This was a side of Abby that I honestly hope we get to see more of, especially now that she is accepting of it here at this place. I hope, like... Not in, not in this season, but I hope in season four, we get another one of these games. I don't remember what it was called. It was the Solstice Games, I guess. But yeah, I hope we get another one next season for, uh, well, they don't do it like once a year, right? They did it like once a week or something, uh, which explains why all the pubes are there all the time. <laughs> that was a great, I have a great explanation for that. But yeah, I, uh, I hope we get another one later where now that she's more comfortable, uh, we can have, you know, Lincoln also there cheering her on and maybe some other people and getting to see it. And maybe at that point we'll know a little bit more about the people at her work besides just really, uh, Trey, isn't he Trey or Trent? I can't remember. Trey, uh, the girl, and then the uh, the other girl who I thought was a trainer as well. I should really get their names, but um, the the girl who was a cleaner like Abby and then got moved out to be a trainer. I but I thought she was still a trainer, but she was only the referee for this one. Um, yeah, those are the only like three people in the company that are really recognizable. Um, yeah. And yet, we didn't really go anywhere with the investor coming in. Like, that was kind of irrelevant to why Alana was fired. Like, you know, she also went to her and was fired for that and stuff. But it really felt just more like a guest appearance rather than really needed for the plot. It just felt like a, we can get her, so we should use her sort of thing. Um, which I don't blame them for. But it's still, you know, it didn't really feel that, that important. I liked all her bits, but, uh... Yeah, I just felt like a they could have they could have wrapped that up in a in a more interesting way, I think. Or in a, just a a way that mattered, you know? It didn't really go anywhere, especially with how much her and Alana were like hitting it off and were perfect and then that didn't really matter. It didn't really go anywhere. 
I love that uh, Tr Trey Trent, I can't remember which one it is, has a signed picture of Zach Braff in his locker and everything. Very, very fitting. He did, d d he's uh, put money towards his Kickstarter, right? It was it was uh, Zach Braff's Kickstarter, I believe. I, I can't remember whose that was, actually, that came up a couple seasons ago. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of like a pink, uh, I don't know what that is, a, a concert ticket, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, and then <laughs> him with seemingly twins? I don't know what that is. It seems like he's dating twins? I don't know. <laughs> Abby's locker, there's not much to say about it. It's just a mess of collages of the most generic fucking, like, sayings. You go, girl. Yes, you can. Bring it. I pity the fool that gets in my way and it's fucking Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one's good. That one's just fucking. Uh, and then all the all the pugs of glasses. She loves pugs of glasses. Absolutely loves them. Like I really, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, that is like a thing in the show. But yeah, I don't really think about it that much. But yeah, I guess that is Abby's thing. She loves that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it for this episode. I will see you guys for the next one. Until then, get the fuck out of here.